And as those national COVID case numbers fall, infectious disease experts say this could be a sign that the end is in sight. So we're going to bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Park Nandy now. And Dr. Nandy, Americans are not out of the woods just yet, but what do you think the next part of this pandemic will look like? And you know, as, as that last piece showed, it's really great to see Omicron surge has plateaued nationally, and some states have actually seen a decline in numbers. Last week, 14 states had a 10% drop in numbers, but Omicron is still raging, and I, and I mean raging in many parts of the U.S. 26 states had case numbers rise by 10%, and when you look at our national numbers overall, you know, our daily average is 690,000, a little bit more than that. It's still very high. Now, uh, as for what's happening and what's coming our way in 2022, you know, I feel that, uh, and I'm hopeful that case numbers will follow what happened in South Africa and the UK. Numbers in these two countries skyrocketed, then plummeted, right? And 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 experts are predicting we'll see much better numbers in the U.S. by mid-February, and we could end up hopefully with a with a quiet period like we had last year. No, I'm sure you've been asked this a time or two, Doc, but do you think the coronavirus will go away completely at some point or should we expect it to be here with us forever? All day, every day is what I ask. It's like, is this ever going to go away or are we going to live with this forever? Unfortunately, no crystal ball, right, uh, Ryan, that gives us the answers. We just don't know with 100% certainty if we'll get another variant. And it, could it be more you know, milder or more dangerous than the variants we've already dealt with? In my opinion, it's very, very likely that we're going to see another variant. Why? Because that's what viruses do. They mutate so they can stay alive. And I'll use the flu virus as an example. And, and as you know, in 1918, right, the H1N1 flu virus caused one of the worst pandemics ever, killing 50 million people. That pandemic, you know, eventually ended, but we still have the flu virus today. So that's what scientists are hoping that will happen with the coronavirus, and that, that it's going to mutate to something less severe. But we have to recognize that the virus could do the opposite, mutate to something more severe. Right now, the most important thing is that we do not let our guard down and underestimate Omicron. You heard the last piece. Please get vaccinated. Please follow precautions. And especially if you're not vaccinated, you have to remember hospitalizations and numbers are much higher and the and people who are unvaccinated are more likely to end up in the hospital and can die so we really have to keep you know our our, our you know our vigilance up and not think this is some mild case but i think there is some some reason for hope coming uh, up in the uh, dur during this year all right dr nandy grateful for your insight as always thank you my pleasure take care